With the APM connector, we can simply import the service into SOI. From the console, I'm going to right-click on Services, then click on Import Services. I then see a list of the Catalyst connectors. I highlight the one for APM here at the top and select Import. Then I see a list of the services. We see ticks change here. I'm going to click on the right arrow, move it over to the right pane, and then click OK. And then I click OK again, and now the service will be imported by the APM connector. Within a few minutes, we'll see the service into the tree. Now the service has arrived. We see it on the left-hand pane here. We highlight it, and the topology view will show up on the right. Now I can click on the Apply Automatic Layout and Hierarchical to get a better view of the service. Taking a closer look at the service model, at the top we see the name of the service as it was imported to exchange. Then we see all of the critical business transactions that make up the service, such as search products, account login, etc. Below this, we see the dependencies on the application components, JVMs or CLRs as the case may be. And then below this, we see the dependency of those containers on the physical computer systems on which the application is being hosted. So as you can see, we have now quickly and easily imported the structure of the service model from APM. This model highlights the key strength of SOI in that it now provides operations with a bridging of the application infrastructure management gap, thanks to SOI's leading edge correlation capabilities. Behind the scenes, correlation automatically occurs on the computer system CIs, linking the application data with data provided by other infrastructure focused connectors from products such as Spectrum, eHealth, or other third party IM tools. Incoming events from a variety of different domain managers are now automatically correlated to the correct component in the service model, regardless of whether it's an application or an infrastructure component.